guys, today we're going to be talking about William the Hippo, the unofficial mascot of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. William the Hippo, who I have a little replica right here, was from the Middle Kingdom of Egypt and was created about 1900 BC. He is made out of faience, which is a type of ground quartz, very similar to glass. However, it's more malleable than glass, so it's easier to carve and sculpt into things like hippos. He then would have been given a glaze, which is why he has the blue color. He also has these markings of river plants, which symbolized where he was from, the Nile. Hippos being from the Nile were a symbol of rebirth, similar to how crocodiles and frogs were. This is because they would go underwater and then they could come back out and resurge out of the water as sort of a symbol of rebirth, which is why they were often placed in tombs. William was found in the tomb of Senbi II. He was put there to protect him from all the other hippos on the river to the afterlife. Now even though this hippo was put there to protect the dead, they also took some safety precautions in its creation because the Egyptians were well aware of the fact that hippos were very dangerous as they were often sinking their fishing boats and causing deaths. So the sculpture William only had one leg because if he had all four legs, who knows, he could go around and wreak havoc in the tomb. Now, when you see the hippo today in the museum, he will have four legs, but three of them have been restored. William was found in 1910 and then donated to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York in the year 1917. William's a really significant piece of art because he's a good representation of what Egyptian faience looked like, as well as a good example of Egyptian tomb decoration and art. The hippo was very popular at the Met when it first came because it is very cute and it had an article written by Captain H.M. Raleigh in the Punch Magazine, which is where it first got its name, William. Since then, the Met has continued using the name William and sells tons of William merchandise in their store, such as this little magnet thing that I got, much smaller than the actual one. The real one is eight inches long, by the way. I also have a William stapler, which is pretty cool. There's even something called the William Foundation, which is for the people that have included the Met in their wills. Which is kind of fitting, because he was discovered in a tomb. William is extremely adorable, and he also represents a ton of things about Egyptian culture and history, which is why he's so popular amongst the masses, and why I love him so much as well. Hopefully, you like William too. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See y'all next week.